making progress on the G-Body today, man. Um, but we definitely made it to a point where um, it's definitely time to revamp some things. I got to start back over in a sense, I guess you can say. Not necessarily start over, but I definitely got to pull the intake back off of this engine. I got an injector on this side that's stuck open and that's another issue I was having. Um, they dumping, still dumping too much fuel. I thought it was the cam sensor, which that did stop all the popping, uh, but I still have the fire because in the previous video, it stopped popping, but as soon as I turned the camera off, I fired it up again, whew, dumped all the fuel out, I crank it up, fire. So, I'm finna unhook everything that I need to unhook off of here, man. And we are we are about to pull this intake off. So, they are AC Ducko brand injectors, right? This factory injectors. Um, you've been watching for a while. I revealed in that other video, but I got ready to put that on. I ain't have a choice but tell y'all it was an LS engine. Uh, so, it is an LS, but I haven't dropped QB. Uh, obviously, you know, if I'm going back with factory injectors, you know it ain't too much to it, so. Factory injectors, and one of my cool, I got a cooler leak, and it's coming from a little janky uh, U, U thing that I got uh, rigged up over here. But this is the right thing. This come off Amazon, if you got an LS engine, and you need a heater block off, I'ma link this down in the description. I got these injectors off of eBay need injectors i'm gonna link them down in the description and if you go on there and buy some your boy get a little commission so you know help a help a brother out you help me out you help the channel the quicker we can get this thing on the road the quicker we can make some content because uh i will tell y'all this thing got a nice cam in it got a nice style in it and uh we're gonna try to get these uh injectors in here real quick i'm gonna try not to make the video drag out too long so Let's get to it. Check them back in. So I was gonna try to replace them while they was in, but it's a lot easier, man. Just pull your whole uh, fuel rail off and Pretty easy, man. It's just two, two lines, two fuel lines, and four bolts, four eight millimeter bolts. Take those bolts out, man, and just take the whole fuel rail out. Take you any kind of fluid. It can be oil, it can be whatever, right? Take it a little bit and put it around that little rubber seal. And man, that thing will slide back in there like butter. The new one to slide in that light bulb. Perfect. The whole rest of the day, man, I had been fighting with these things, but I forgot that little tilt that my cousin showed me, man. So I get it around it, right? Get the thing around it. Get it started around it, at least. And then I take some, grab it, and stretch it out. This one wanna be a headache. They've been going on smooth all day. As soon as I turn the camera on, they're like, yeah, I'm finna embarrass you on this camera. Once you get ready to stick them in, take it a little bit, put it around this seal right here, and you're good to go. I'm gonna continue getting the rest of these in, man. Y'all stay tuned. And I'm gonna try to get this thing back on for the day. Eight brand new injectors, all in the fuel rail. Getting ready to throw the fuel rail back in, get everything hooked back up. And uh, yeah, man, no startup tonight. No startup tonight, but tomorrow, but it's gonna be in this video. No startup tonight, but I'm gonna start it up in this video. So we're gonna get this back in, and then I'm gonna make sure everything's good, make sure we ain't got no leaks, and then we're gonna get a startup, man. <laughs> Uh, now when I 
prime it up. I ain't got no leak out of the uh, headers or nothing like that. So tomorrow, when I can open up this door, because like I said, it's been catching fire on me. So I'm still a little paranoid. So tomorrow, once I can open up this door, get water holes in here and have some room to put some fire out if I need to, we'll crank it up tomorrow. Y'all just stay tuned. I thought I had fixed it in the other video. Get out my face, bro. I thought I had fixed it in the other video, but like I said, I think I got it. I think I had an injector stuff up, stuck open yesterday. Um, so I'm finna, I'm, I'm gonna spray it down, man, because it's open header. You know, open header kind of shoot, shoot some flames out a little bit. But uh, so I'm gonna spray up under the car, kind of up under the hood, just to kind of dial down some of that gas, man. So. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this thing down up under the car everywhere. And we gonna fire it off. And hopefully, we don't have an actual fire. So, y'all hold tight, but. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm a little concerned. But, I'm gonna wait to find out. I'm sure it would y'all y'all didn't see no white smoke. Y'all didn't see nothing abnormal this time. It wasn't popping, it wasn't shooting flames, it wasn't doing nothing. That was the cleanest this car has ever ran. Like literally. No smoke, no heavy gas smell. Like it was times I would crank it up and the whole shop would just smell like gas, man. Just heavy gas. But this time, man, no smoke, no heavy gas smell. It cammed harder than it ever cammed in a Probably since I, man, probably since I put the cam in there, man. So, I'm pretty sure we fixed it this time. Fingers crossed. I, I, I think we got it. I think we got it, man. But, uh, anyway, man, that's gonna basically end this one. Um, when we come back in, let's see what we gonna do. I did throw the hood on. I don't know if y'all saw that or not, but one day off camera, I just threw the hood on, man, because I got tired of it sitting on the back of the truck. But, uh, let's see what's next, man. I'm trying to see what I'm finna do to this car, man, cause uh, I'm pretty sure it's ready to back it out and put it on this other side. I did fix the coolant leak, as y'all saw in the video, but I do have to, um, I think I'm a, I got a trans cooler on this thing, but I think I'm gonna upgrade to the trans cooler with the fan on it, the, the, the rail uh, trans cooler. But I ran aluminum line to it, Trying to kind of twist it around that radiator, kind of got some leaks in it. So I think I'm gonna go with braided steel lines. Um, probably once I get to a certain point, I may bring up aluminum line all the way up. But then once I get to a certain point, I'll probably go braided steel all the way, um, you know, from there all the way back around. Uh, so yeah, man, I gotta order that braided steel line. That's probably gonna be the next thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna continue wiring this thing up off camera. Um, no reason for me to show y'all that. Like I said, it's kind of boring. 
Uh, I'm trying to figure something out for my throttle cable, but I did find out some people have used the factory Silverado cables, the factory Chevrolet truck cables, and it worked on these G-bodies. So I'm gonna be ordering one of those so that I can rev on this thing and press the gas. Uh, I do have to double check my brakes. I did re-bleed them because that is a new, whole new brake system, except for the brake lines, brake lines ain't new. But the master cylinder new, and all the brakes, drums, everything was new. So I had a lot of air in those lines, man. But uh, I'm thinking that's gonna end this one, man. So y'all saw how clean it ran that time. Y'all didn't see no smoke or nothing. Yeah, we finna, we finna terrorize some streets soon, man. Y'all keep liking the video, keep subscribing, keep helping me go up, man. That's gonna be the quick, I'm gonna get this project out. And I got a few more other projects that I got. Uh, we gonna work on my dad's S10 pretty soon. Uh, I got a 4.3 in it. We're trying to decide what we want to go with in that S10. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the description. Anyway, man, Pulse TV, gone. Thanks for watching, man. If you show interest in supporting the channel, man, you can support us using the Cash App or the PayPal, man. We really appreciate anything, man. If you got something you want to send us, man, the address is down there up on the talk to us, man. If you got something you want to send us or email us, right there at pools tv everything is there man appreciate the support man pools tv gone